Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, we finna take these braids down. That's what's happening here. I I think I've reached my limit with these braids. They were fun for a while, but it's time for them to go because I've had to be wearing them in this bun just to keep them out of the way. Like they're, I'm pretty sure they're butt length right now. Yeah, and so sometimes, you know, after a while it just kind of gets annoying. Like I just, I just need my hair out of my face, out of like, just ugh. Um, and also wearing it in a bun consistently over some time is starting to give me a headache. So I'm like, I think it's time for these braids to go. So today is Friday. So I'm gonna use this opportunity just to trim or like cut off the ends of this so that once work is all done for the day, I can just get into taking these braids out. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss them. Like they were cute, they were fun for a while, especially when I curled the ends. I think that's when I started to really enjoy them. But we need to move on. It's time to say goodbye. It's never the right time to say goodbye, but it's time to say goodbye. And I know my underarms, y'all, don't say anything, okay? I'm getting them waxed today. <laughs> I'm getting them waxed today. Woo, look how old. I don't wanna get too close, but yikes. Also, I need to make sure that I cut at the right spot because you know, is where my hair ends. So, are we ready, kids? Comment below, aye aye, Captain. Here we go, right here. Ooh. I need a trim so bad. Um, I'm contemplating how to style my hair. I could either do a wig right a wig would be fun y'all i've been seeing a lot of synthetic wig styles on tiktok and I'm not gonna lie like i'm tempted to buy me a couple synthetic wigs off of amazon i think that's what i might do i think i might do like a look a lookbook of a lookbook of synthetic wigs off of amazon because yo there are some really nice synthetic wigs out there or I might do a ponytail. Y'all know how much I love me a good ponytail. So might do a ponytail. I'm really leaning towards a ponytail because that seriously is gonna be so easy to do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be taking you guys along the whole weekend because I'm not about to be stuck on the couch or in the shower or on my vanity, all in the name of hair. I like to spread things out because I just don't like being stuck. Let me bring this down a little bit. Um, I don't like being stuck because of my hair. So the plan is today, ooh, I feel lighter already. <laughs> the plan is today, I am going to take these down. Um, and then tomorrow will be wash day. And then Sunday will be the style day, maybe. Honestly, I could, since if I'm doing a ponytail, cause it's so easy to do, I could do wash day and styling in the same day. So this might be over the course of two or three days. Um, stay tuned, we will see. But, ah, free at last, free at last. Look at all this hair. Look at all this hair, all that, all that work three days of work to put these braids in. They're finally coming down. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get into it. Hello, 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 hello. I don't remember where I left off in the vlog, but it's been a whole 24 hours later. And I just finished taking my hair out and it is 5.24 p.m. I really thought I was gonna do it Friday night, but that did not happen, girl, that did not happen. Um, I started around 10 a.m. today. I've been watching Desperate Housewives. Um, been re-watching that because I don't know why shows these days are just not doing it for me anymore. So anyway, we're done taking out the hair. Now to detangle and pre-poo and then just go through the whole wash day routine. I posted yesterday that I'm gonna be using a new pre-poo today and it's gonna be the African Pride because I've never tried it before. I have tried the Aunt Jackie's and it worked wonderfully. Um, so this is the Miracle Moisture Pre-Poo. I'm sure you guys have seen or heard of it. It says that it is supposed to detangle and condition your hair to help minimize breakage for natural coils and curls. 
The directions say before cleansing, apply a generous amount to dry hair and distribute dis distribute evenly. Um, use fingers or comb to detangle, rinse thoroughly, etc, etc, etc. What I'm gonna do. <laughs> um, as you can see, I blew out my hair before I braided it. So it actually is not as tangled and like matted as it normally would be. I think that is something that, you know, future me is thinking, present me is thinking past me. I'm going to just apply a generous amount. I'm going to use my Tangle Teaser. This is my new favorite detangling tool to use. And I'm going to go ham. I'm going to go ham. Uh, but how are you guys? How are you guys? How are, if you had a wash day today, <laughs> let me know what's up. Have you tried any new products? Do you have any new techniques that you like using? Oh, it smells very, very good. So as I was saying earlier, sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained right now. Um, my hair was blown out prior to braiding. So the tangles and the knots, very minimal. The only place that I would be concerned about is the new growth and the root of my hair. But for the most part, the length of my hair seems pretty detangled enough. So the benefit that I will get from this is in its moisturizing properties. And also, I think it will make the shampooing and the other processes easier because my hair is a little bit dry from being in those braids for almost six weeks. It has aloe and coconut water and the aloe vera nourishes conditions and protects against breakage so i am here for all of it let me show you the consistency okay do you see this i'm actually excited for this because you know um natural 85 they always do these diy products with aloe vera in it and i'm always looking like dang if only i was a diy queen like that i'll be over there buying whole aloe vera plants to be making concoctions for my hair but I just ain't <laughs> got time for that <laughs> so I'm excited to be using this like heavily aloe based product to get the experience you know like I said in my previous video why would I do the work if somebody has already done it for me especially after I've spent all day let me make sure I get the root do you see that yeah, I'm just going to work with really big sections like this because I need to get moving on this wash day. So what I'll do is after I've washed and deep conditioned my hair, I'm going to put it in maybe eight plaits and like stretch it out. Just going to stretch it out with a braid out, which actually will help my case. It's going to help with the hairstyle that I want to go for. I was just going to do it on wet hair. But it's probably good that I'm waiting and stretching my hair with a braid out first. And so I will be showing you guys that process. Okay, so here is, there's a knot here. And it just melted. <laughs> it just melted so easily, even though it looks like, or at least I was assuming that I don't have a lot of knots up in this thing. I do have some knots up in this thing, so wow like my fingers gliding they are gliding i love it guys my hair feels so dirty stinking soft like it feels so soft like it's just melting like butter between my fingers you can see where my hair is generally like doing pretty decently well right all of this kind of curled back up we are good we are good um, but then when you get towards the front is where you start to see some of the heat damage that I have acquired over the last um, year and a half it's not my natural hair texture but I'm doing the best I can to keep my hair healthy while also doing whatever the heck I want to do with it like I just want to have fun with my hair I just want to have fun with my hair all right y'all so this is the lineup for today in no particular order I have my trusty um melon hair care African black soap shampoo I know this probably looks like it's not going to be enough which is why <laughs> I've got another one and then I'm going to go in with this deep conditioner and then I'm going to go in with this leave-in conditioner and just put my hair in some braids so that it can be stretched for tomorrow when I 
finally have some time to style it. Now, so as you can see, I'm starting with six very simple braids on my head. I'm gonna start off on the back, so I'm only gonna take out the back four. And the other thing I'm making sure to do is not to fluff it out because I don't want my hair to be too big that it's almost impossible to put into a slick ponytail. Okay, so I have both sides of the back taking out. This side is a bit wet still, um, so hopefully that doesn't work against me. So what I'm going to do now is work the back up and secure it into a ponytail. Using, um, this is my all-time favorite gel to use on my hair, but as you can see, I'm running out. So I'm going to be trying out this Aunt Jackie's gel um it caught my eye at the beauty supply store i don't know if it's not broke don't try to fix it yes but i was just very curious oh it smells good it smells like clean and fresh a glob of gel work it into the hair work it into the hair tangle teaser I have put my hair into braids here and I'm just gonna work on making sure this front portion stays slick the reason I did it on two sides is I still wanted the middle part to show but it's honestly looking like it's gonna end up being covered up so I'm just gonna give this one last brush um, grab some B, just to make sure we have some extra reinforcements I just ate some of that spray up. to let this set and then i'll be back with the final result the moment of truth let's take the scarf off and what <laughs> wow well well i mean the only thing that i see that might be a problem for me in particular is i would want to put the bun a little bit lower a little bit flatter but you know it comes with the territory, but guys, how do we feel about this ponytail? I love it. I love it. And look at the texture, right? It looks like it is, I mean, the color is a little different. It's not the best color match, but like, it looks like it is a moy hair. The volume, the movement, the body, ay, ay, ay. anyway and it's so light that's the other thing it's so light 
so it feels so comfortable on my head um let me see maybe if i shake it a little bit it'll sit better because i wasn't sure how this was sitting before look at how i feel like i feel like claire huxtable clifford darling jeffrey is that the same show? <laughs> oh man, this is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Well, if you guys are interested in this ponytail, I will leave it in the description box below, of course. Not gonna gatekeep this. Um, that brings me to the end of my wash day vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> it was very sporadic. Um, I didn't really have a rhyme or reason. I'm just looking at myself in the mirror, guys. I'm just looking at myself. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye!